Liquidity Ratios Problem 3. Lime Inc. has net sales on account of $1,500,000. The average net accounts receivable are $680,000. Calculate the day's sales and receivables. We're focusing on the day's sales and receivables. Now this is part of the liquidity analysis. Liquidity analysis is evaluation of the ability of a company to convert current assets into cash. We're focusing specifically on receivables, accounts receivable. Within liquidity analysis, there's the current ratios, there's the, or current position, I should say, current ratio is a, is a ratio within the current position analysis. There's the account receivable analysis, and there's the inventory analysis. Within the account receivable analysis, there's account receivable turnover, and there's the number of days sales in receivables. So we're focusing on the number of days sales in receivables. Now, when it comes to a company's ability to collect its account receivable, that's what the account receivable analysis is all about. So we're looking at specifically how quick a company can go and actually collect from its customers what it owes. And again, as I mentioned, there's really two major calculations we do in the account receivable analysis, account receivable turnover and number of days sales in receivables. We're focusing on the latter of those two. The, we're focusing on the latter of those two. Now the number of days sales in receivables is an estimate of the time in days that the accounts receivable have been outstanding. The number of days sales in receivables is often compared with a company's credit terms in order to determine or to evaluate the efficiency of the collection of receivables. The formula for day sales and receivables is 365. 365 days, but again, this is based on days. So 365 over the accounts receivable turnover ratio, which I'm going to explain what that ratio is. But this is one of those ratios where in order to get the answer, you've got to do another ratio calculation. I know students hate those, but we have to do it. So the accounts receivable turnover ratio, and I'll explain what that is in a moment. But we're going to have to do a second ratio calculation here before we actually get our answer. So that is the day sales and receivable ratio, 365 over the account receivable turnover ratio, which I'm going to abbreviate ARTR. So the ARTR ratio, which is this right here, the ARTR ratio, that ratio is net credit sales, net credit sales over the average net accounts receivable. So make sure you note that. The account receivable turnover ratio, net credit sales over the average net account receivable. Now these numbers are given in the problem. We're told we have $1,500,000 in net sales on account. So net credit sales, that's what that equals. So that's 1 million or 1.5 million. And that's over the average net account receivable amount, which we're told is $680,000, average net account receivable amount. So that's $680,000. We get that ratio, and that's the account receivable turnover ratio, and that equals 2.21. Now, we're not done. That's a preliminary calculation we need to do to get our end answer of days, sales, and receivables. So we take that 2.21, and understanding what this 2.21 is, you're looking at the net credit sales for the period of time for this specific year, which is 1.5 million. You're looking at whatever is left in accounts receivable. So this is showing you how quickly accounts receivable actually get collected. So the higher the ratio, the better it is. So 2.21 is pretty good. When that number is less than one, it gets concerning because that means that you've got way more accounts receivable than you even have sales during the year. And some will even go further. So now we got to do the real calculation, the days, sales, and receivables. So we're going to take 365, just 365, because remember the answer is in days, that number. And we're going to divide that by the 2.21. So we can bring that over here, the 2.21. And when we divide that, we're going to get 165.16. 165.16. And that is 165.16 days. The answer is in days. So again, let's, let's, just revisit what's going on. I'm going to revisit also what this means. We're asked about the day sales and receivables. And the idea here is that collecting accounts receivable as quickly as possible, that's what a company wants to do because it improves a company's liquidity. It provides cash to improve or expand operations. It reduces the risk of uncollectable accounts. The longer it goes, the more likely it's not to be collect it's not going to be collected. 
So the number of days in sales and receivables is an estimate of the time. So here, 165 days that accounts to you will have been outstanding. This is pretty high. 165 days, it's pretty high. It's a pretty high amount, but I mean, could be worse. You're basically saying that the average receivables are collected just under six months, just under six months, which it could be worse. It could be more than six months, could be more than a year, which would be ridiculous and you'd be in big trouble there. So that's, that's the idea is that 165 days, it seems like a lot, but think about it. It's, it's under six months, a few months. We want to make, we want to get that quick. And if the company, depending on the industry, this could be normal or it could be not so normal. It could be that most customers are on 30 day repayment terms, but the, on average taking 165 days, that would be ridiculous. This could be six month payment terms and then they're within that period. So it all is a function of the company and the industry. So 165.16, that is the number of days in sales receivables that an estimate of time accounts receivable have been outstanding. The number of days sales and receivables often compare of a company's credit terms. Like I said, could be 30 day, could be, a, could be 60, could be 90, could be 180 days, which would be six months. So it all depends on, on what's going on there. Now, in order to get the day sales and receivables, we had to use the formula 365. We always use 365. We assume a normal year over account receivable turnover ratio. The account receivable turnover ratio is net credit sales over average net account receivable. We got that, got 2.21, take 365 over 2.21, boom, 165.16 days. Seems like a lot, but again, it depends on the business. That is how you calculate the day sales and receivables. I also showed you how to calculate the account receivable turnover ratio.